guys uh, welcome uh, i am nirbhik and i have angela from my team uh, i take care of growth and communities at matic and she takes care of the dev evangelism at matic uh, yeah angela yeah uh, hey everyone i am angela and i am working as a developer evangelist uh, with matic we'll be talking about matic network and why uh, motivation to build on matic and the bounties we have to offer for this hackathon perfect cool cool then i'll proceed with that yeah so starting with the presentation right so let's talk about uh why blockchains and uh, and then we'll slowly move to why matic and how matic can help uh, you know in you, you in building a better dap uh, with a better user user experience with fast transactions and uh, low gas fees so uh, starting with the first like how we started right so we have seen a rapid growth in blockchain transactions in crazy 2017 you guys might have heard about uh, crypto kitties it was a game built on top of ethereum so it it had a good great ux uh, but the problem lied in you know the scalability part uh, it couldn't scale right so it was built on top of ethereum ethereum had its own uh, limitations when it comes to scaling and uh, the crypto kitties when received like uh, you know a major traction uh, it it choked the ethereum network and uh, because of that everyone felt like okay it need to scale uh, it can't go that way right so then then came in the scaling uh, solutions scaling approaches different approaches were um, you know proposed and uh, we we are working on the plasma framework so we we follow that approach to scale uh, matic network right so this is the crypto kitties game that i was talking about uh just a second cool so that's a that's the game like crypto kitties right so it was a game that was built on top of matic uh, ethereum and it when it was so good that it got a lot of traction and it choked like the full ethereum network and then then there was a the time when everyone felt like you know there's a need of scaling solution that can build on top of ethereum to help ethereum scale right because ethereum can't do it ethereum is focused more on uh, the decentralization and the security part uh they left the scaling uh for for other projects the layer 2 projects to follow up so these are the basic barriers that we talked about before right so it has slow transaction confirmations uh high transaction fees and a poor user experience so if you are building a, a dap on top of ethereum certainly you cannot compete with a, a centralized service like take a example of google pay right your transaction get confirmed like in in seconds right within a seconds but if you build a top uh, you know a similar dap on top of ethereum it will take like somewhere around 10 minutes 15 minutes and you don't want your users to feel that uh, pain when they are making payments right because you don't want to, to lose your uh, uh, adoption right you you have uh, you have marketed your, yourself well and you got few users on your dap and you don't want to lose them uh, because of the user experience that you're providing because of the ethereum that it is there right so so what what is matic network right so then we came in picture because there is a scaling issue so a layer to scaling solution came up and uh, so we are using plasma framework for ensuring uh, asset security and and a decentralized network that we are using you guys have heard about proof of work right so we are a pos uh, layer we have a pos layer to secure our networks and we are utilizing side chains to ensure uh, the scaling part right so we are scaling using uh, side chains right so we can have n number of side chains and uh, that's the model that we follow to scale uh, our network we'll talk about the features of uh, matic network we are account based plasma so we we are like ethereum evm uh, if you have heard about it uh we work similar to like that we follow that model right and uh, if you are building on top of ethereum uh, it's easy for you to move on top of uh, matic it's quite easy 
and uh, we provide like one second block time and finality on main, main chain. So if suppose uh, you have your transitions on Matic, uh, the transition that you have in, on Matic are synced with uh, Ethereum main chain. So whenever, if, if, if at all there's an attack and the main, Matic main chain goes down, you have your state synced on the main chain, Ethereum main chain, and that you can uh, you know check afterwards and then you can move out of Matic network. So we are also providing that security layer to you. Then we have uh, low entry barriers for developers. So our focus is on UX and DX. Using scaling, we are focusing on both that, both of like user experience and DX uh, developer experience. Because for a developer, it's very important that you know you have a better docs to build upon, better tools to use to build. Uh, we have tools like Dagger Wallet that developers can use and build on top of Matic which makes their life easy and ultimately it uh, improves, improves your user experience, right? So we have like uh, 10K transactions on the testnet and somewhere around 6K uh, plus transactions on our uh, mainnet as of now, beta mainnet. Yeah, as I said before, right? So if you are an Ethereum developer, you are already a developer on Matic Network. It's quite easy to move on top of uh, Matic Network. It's uh, it's very easy. When you go through docs, you'll uh, find that out. Uh, we provide support to Remix ID, Meta, Metamask, Ganache, Truffle. Um, Angela will be explaining uh, uh, the bounties afterwards. And uh, so if you need any help, uh, you know how to integrate with uh, different protocols or you know, platforms, we'll be there in the group to help you guys out, right? So this is what we provide. We have a Matic wallet. It's basically a, a wallet which can help your dApps, the dApp you build uh, to, you know, uh, do the transactions. So you can use it and uh, your users can all use it. So if suppose you have a game that has like, you know, uh, uh, say in-game assets, right? And they want to buy it they can simply make payments using Matic Wallet if you're built on top of Matic. So it improves your user experience because you don't want your user to wait in game for 10, 15 minutes to get the transitions confirmed. If they you know, make, the payment, like, make the payment request from there, they'll receive a payment request on Matic Wallet, you approve and the transition is made. So it's that easy. Then comes Dagger. Uh, Dagger is basically Ethereum's uh, notification engine. What it does is, uh, so if you provide a contract address or, or a ERC20 address or any address right, uh, that is on Ethereum, it tracks all the uh, uh, you know, uh, receipts and payments that are done from that address, that respective address, and it provides, it sends you notification. So if today you make a transaction on Ethereum, you need to go to Etherscan, keep refreshing the page and check the, tra check the transitions, right? So is, if it's uh, you know sent or not, if received or not. So uh, Dagger, what helps is, how Dagger helps is, for developers, if you integrate with Dagger, you'll receive notifications on the app that you want to show. Suppose you build a UI in your app and you in, uh, interact with Dagger to receive the notification and it will be shown in your UI. On the user side, we have built an integration with Dagger plus Zapier. What, uh, so if, if you have not about, heard about Zapier, you should uh, look for it. I mean, like it has integration with more than 2000 applications. So we have integration with Dagger plus Zapier. Uh, how it helps us is we reach to the ultimate users uh, instantly. So a normal user won't understand how to uh, listen to contracts and all. So it makes their life easy to listen to contracts and uh, you know uh, listen to their addresses and to get notified right on the channel channel they they prefer or the platform that prefer they if you want if you want to suppose tomorrow you want to create a, a excel sheet which shows like a pnl or you know all the uh, receipts and payments of your account you simply integrate with dagger plus zapier create an integration with google sheets it will save all your transitions in that sheet that you can use later on right we are uh, we have Wallet Connect protocol integration. We have been the early contributors to Wallet Connect protocol that helps you provide seamless login into your dApps, uh, basically uh, to make payments and all. So if suppose I have Matic wallet and I want to, uh, I don't want to login into my web wallet, right? Because it's risky to share, uh, to 
copy paste the past phrases and everything you just scan the qr code that's inbuilt in our application you go to our web wallet scan it and it will uh, log in on the web wallet so you are not sharing your keys it's logged in from your mobile wallet it's just asking for a request on your mobile to approve once you approve you're logged in on the web wallet and you can make all the trans transactions that you want to make right and if you log out from the uh, mobile wallet you want to log out you can simply uh, go over there and disconnect and it will be logged out from web wallet yeah so that is there then we have uh, more uh, tools coming up dev tools coming up Hermione is there, identity services, KYC services, and exit services are coming up uh, in Matic ecosystem very soon. So uh, we talked a lot about a lot about why blockchains, uh, what is Matic, why Matic, the support that we provide. Right now, let's look into the DApps that are built on top of Matic Native. That's a that's a game that was built. Now D, uh, we have D and Blend. So D and Blend is is a top uh, twenty CMC project. It's a it's a VR uh, platform that uh, that is using basically blockchains. Data and they are building a, a marketplace on top of Matic. So that's uh, basically uh, you guys have uh, heard about GIFs, right? We all create content which is funny. Uh, we all create memes, right? So you don't get, uh, you are not able to monetize them. But using uh, this uh, marble cards that is uh, using Matic, you can have these GIFs and uh, your uh, memes. You can have, you can be more, uh, you know, you can monetize that. So if anyone uses that, you get rewarded for that. Let's not move into next. Okay. So now, uh, so I have talked about a uh, lot about Matic, why Matic, and the apps that build on uh, are built on top of Matic. Now let's talk about what you can build uh, on Matic, and I'll ask, uh, I'll request Angela to take this over here. Yeah. Um, hey everyone, so uh, uh, before starting with the description of the bounties, I'd like to tell that uh, if, if in any of the bounties or in the blog post that was already shared, you find the resources are not sufficient, then you can always ping us directly or on the group uh, because it is always possible that you might find some resources that are not there. So there might have been something that we missed, so please, please don't uh, hesitate in ping, um, sending us a message. Uh, starting with the first bounty, which is on the theme of meta transactions. Uh, herein, we are, the only motivation is to use meta transactions in your DAP, wherein the user, the end user, isn't supposed to pay gas fees. So any transaction on the blockchain requires you to uh, spend some ETH, right? Some native ETH for the gas cost. There, now using meta transactions, you can eliminate that step completely. How this helps is it helps in user onboarding because from user perspective, the application is exactly like any other cloud application that we use today. So uh, via the, on this theme, we expect an application that is as easy to use as any other web application. And it also uh, interacts with Matic Network blockchain or Ethereum blockchain that depends on the use case you have in mind. Moving forward, uh, the next theme is decentralized storage. Now the idea that you build can be anything, 
but uh, now uh, the idea that you have in mind, like let's say if it's a micro blogging website, or let's say if it's a blockchain Twitter or a blockchain blogger, anything. Now, the how do you integrate decentralized storage in it is what we are what we'll be interested in. Now we have Moibit integration already with Matic, and we'll be very interested on seeing how you integrate with Moibit in your application. Next. A uh, theme that we expect is a DEX on Plasma. This is a bit specific than the previous two. Herein, what we expect is a proof of concept of a decentralized exchange on Matic network. This might be a bit challenging, and if you and if you're prepared to work on it, then you're always welcome to ask any queries uh, on the group. Like I said before, in this, what we expect is there there is supposed to be a flow of deposit of tokens onto Matic network. Uh, a swap of tokens on Matic network and a withdrawal from Matic network. Now, previous two themes can be uh, no, previous two themes that I talked about can be deployed directly on Matic network. So, from developer perspective, you can use Matic similar to uh, Ethereum. All the tools and everything would work the same. But on in this particular theme, you'll have to. Uh, there's a bit more learning curve here, but uh, this this might be challenging, but it is equally rewarding. So all the all the resources are linked in the blog post. You will find all the resources. Next is a micro payments uh, theme that uh, we uh, the micro payments theme that we expect. Herein, uh, now Herein again the idea it depends on you. Now uh, an example of an idea could be uh, a social media platform wherein there is a little plugin, uh, maybe something sort of a Chrome extension, wherein the 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 content creators are paid in micro payments. Now, with each like on Instagram, let's say, or with each like on Facebook, the content creator gets a, a very minor reward. Now, that reward is supposed to happen on Matic Network. And this can be a pluggable widget or, uh, or a Chrome extension or, micro, or a Firefox add-on. That depends. Now, the fifth theme uh, is uh, on oracles. Heron. Uh, again, oracles. Now, the way you uh, the way you implement it is completely open, and we we have, uh, we have kept all these themes intentionally open ended because we expect to see a lot more creative ideas. Now, in oracles, what we expect is for you to use Razor Network, which is already integrated with Matic. Docs to the Razor Network are linked in the blog post. And again, if there's anything that you find missing, you can always ping us. Now the sixth track is open track, and again, any any cool hacks that you have in mind uh, will be welcomed in this track. There are no restrictions, and as long as you are using Matic network, uh, we'll always judge it. And it it is also supposed to be a proper use case. So yeah, th that's all we have in bounties. Now you guys yeah. can find this QR code, which directly links to the developer page on Matic network which will help you with getting started with all the uh, resources and all the tools that we have uh, developed for you guys. So this is basically the Discord room that we have. Uh, you can also ask queries in the, in the DevPoly room, but uh, if you want to join in our private room, that is uh, basically Matic developer room. So we have channels over there. We also have at India online channel over there. You can join that. Simply scan the QR code or use the link that is below and uh, you'll be in our room, right? Cool. Uh, so that's it guys from our side. Um, thank you, Angela. Uh, thank you, Denver. Thank you, everyone. Um, and uh, we wish you all the luck and we are excited to see your hacks. Yeah. Yeah. All the best, guys. Yeah. All the best. All the best, guys. Thank you, Denver. Thanks I just, uh, Rupik, if you had some time, we could see if anybody had some questions. Or... Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, if you have any questions, uh, we have Angela from our end to, you know, if you have any technical related questions, uh, we have Angela over here. Yeah. I think we have uh, Abhinay. Yeah, we have a lot of people. Uh, if you have any query, you can just uh, speak and we'll be happy to help you guys out. You can also put it in the chat or you can uh, yeah yeah you can use the chat room so uh, yeah if you want to i think uh, there's one chat okay so yeah.
I think yeah. you'll have to read it out so that everybody can. You're not able to see it. Yeah, I, I'll read it out. I'll read it out. So the question from Samir is: How do we integrate meta transactions with Open Zeppelin library with the Matic network? So for anyone trying to use meta transactions using Open Zeppelin, the all these steps will be similar to what the Open Zeppelin documentation provides, and the network that you'd use is Testnet v3. Now, if you like, I'll I'll just share a short note on the particular steps that you can follow. Or actually, the whole developer experience remains the remains exactly same as given on Open Zeppelin. So you have to create a smart contract with two different functions if you've read it, and also the only the only thing is that you deploy it on Testnet v3. I'll share the details on Matic Network sponsor page just now so that you can view it. If there's any other question, uh, please uh, go ahead. I'll just share the link. Yeah, guys. Uh, any more questions that you uh, you want us to answer? I think then were uh, that is it. Uh, would you like us to take more questions? Okay, yeah, there's Let's a follow up question by Samir. Yeah. Okay, just a second. Um, is there a way? So the question is: Is there a way to mix Taurus and Matic, Matic network together? Yeah, there is, and Taurus's documentation provides all the steps for you to integrate with Matic network. They have recently published a new documentation. Uh, again, the link uh, is available on their website, but if you'd like, I can share it, share this as well on the group. Um, is there any other question, uh, any follow-up question, Samir, or any other question from anyone else? I think that's uh, that's it, right? So we'll be available in the group. Uh, you guys can post your questions over there. And uh, yep, uh, thank you guys. Thanks a lot for having us. Right? Thank you, Danu. Hey, Nirbik uh, and Angela, thanks for uh, coming over and uh, telling no our hackers about uh, Matic and the bounties, right? I'm sure we are going to get a great set of uh, projects built on Matic uh, by the end of the hackathon, right? Uh, yes. Look forward to them, right? So I, I think there's one query where we can post questions. I think uh, you can get in touch with Denver and you can post it in the Eth India online room that is already there. Yeah. So uh, that was that would be the the you know, way to reach out. Yeah, and you can just simply tag me or Angela, anyone in the room, and we'll be there. Yeah, cool. Okay, guys, thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Denver. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye.